today we're talking about pruning your tomato plants. Tomato plants are amazing. You plant this little seedling in the ground and within a few months they get over six feet tall. They're huge. But it can also spell trouble if your plants get too big, they start flopping over, they get really dense and it's hard to harvest. This is where pruning your tomato plants can really help. Pruning basically means thinning out the tomato plant. It can help increase airflow, which can cut down on tomato diseases because you have more air moving down around the plant. And it also can help make the plants more manageable and easy to harvest so you don't have to stick your hand in some big tomato jungle. And there's also some thought that by pruning out some of that extra green growth, you encourage the tomato plant to put more energy into fruit production. So you may get more fruit and you might get fruit earlier. You should only be pruning indeterminate tomato varieties, so the ones that keep growing. Determinant varieties don't need to be pruned. If you're unsure about which you have in your garden, look up the variety on the internet and it should tell you whether it's determinate or indeterminate. The first step is to go out to your garden and identify the parts of the plant. You have the main stem which comes out of the ground and goes all the way up to the top of the plant. That's how it gets taller. It's the main growing point. Then you have your leaves. And then you have the suckers which come out between the leaves and the main stem. And then look for any fruit clusters or flower clusters that you have on your plant. The next step is to identify the lowest fruit or flower cluster on your plant, so the one closest to the ground. And then find the sucker immediately underneath that. That's the strongest sucker on the plant. A lot of energy is going right there because fruit and flower production is happening. And then put your hand on that sucker because that's the one that you're going to keep. You don't want to cut that one off. It's going to become the secondary growing point of the plant. And then you're going to cut off every other sucker on the plant. So I keep my hand on the one I want to keep to remind myself not to cut it off because I have done that before. So every other sucker below and above the sucker you're keeping, you want to cut them all off. Now all the suckers on your plant except that one you wanted to keep should be gone. And then the next step is optional. I have a lot of tomato disease in my garden and most tomato disease starts from the soil level and tra travels up the plant. So I like to cut off all the leaves on the bottom that touch the ground in an effort to try to slow down some of that disease. All right, you have pruned your first tomato plant. Now you want to go and repeat the process on all your indeterminate tomato plants in your garden. I prune my tomato plants several times throughout the season, really just whenever I think about it. And when I start harvesting tomatoes, I usually stop pruning. But really, you can prune whenever you want. If you have a sucker that gets out of control and you just want to hack it back, it's pretty hard to destroy a tomato plant. If you're already pretty far along in the tomato season, if you live in a zone that's a little bit quicker than here in Wisconsin, you can still prune your tomatoes. Just go in there and start to thin out some of the suckers and try to make that plant a little bit more manageable. I want to leave you with some tips for tomato pruning. If you live in the southern U.S., you might want to think about pruning only very lightly. Tomatoes are susceptible to sun scald or sunburn, so if you live in somewhere that has really strong sun, you want to make sure that you're leaving enough shade for those tomatoes. And northern gardeners, you should think about that as well. Make sure you don't prune off all the green growth. You want the tomatoes to have a little bit of shade from that afternoon sun. If you're not sure about pruning, try an experiment in your garden. Prune some of your tomatoes, but not others, and then the, compare the results and see how you like it. Again, it's pretty hard to mess up a tomato plant, so don't be too nervous when you're pruning your plant. Just try not to prune off the main growing stem, but even I've done that and the plants are still pretty much okay. Make sure you're not working with wet tomato plants. Allow your plants to dry out completely before you start pruning or trellising or even harvesting. By working with wet plants, you're more likely to spread any disease that you have throughout all the plants. And if you haven't trellised your tomatoes yet, now is the time to do so. Your tomato plants should not be laying on the ground. Plants that are on the ground are much more susceptible to disease, and a lot of those little critters that live in your garden are definitely gonna take some bites out of your tomato plant. You can use a knife, you can use clippers, you can even use your fingers to take off those suckers. Anything that allows you to get them off easily without tearing the plant. All right, that concludes our tomato pruning lesson. Now get out there and thin out those tomato plants.